No mask, no ride. That's the policy, right? Both Uber and Lyft have these policies. So what's the problem? Well, we still have passengers and probably some drivers too who aren't sticking to the policy. And what that led to in New York City was a fight between the driver and the passenger. So the passengers coming into the vehicle or on their way to the vehicle and the driver tells the passenger, hey, uh, I need you to wear a mask. And the passenger goes ballistic, starts yelling, using lots of profanity. We've seen this on YouTube before, right? We've, we've seen reports of this before. Well, I think what happens at one point is, I don't remember all the details, but the driver gets out of the vehicle. And I would say that was the driver's first mistake right there. The driver gets out of the vehicle and a fight ensues. The uh, passenger spits on the driver. Things just go downhill from there. So the driver calls the police and the driver is arrested and charged. And this happened in New York City, so he loses his TLC license and Lyft revokes his uh, right to drive on their platform. Despite all of that, there's some good news. The driver does get his, uh, the New York Taxi and Limousine Commission review the driver's dash footage and they reinstate him and therefore Lyft reinstates him as well because the deal is Lyft and Uber they both if if you use, lose your TLC license then you can't drive on the platforms that's just the way that it goes so the driver does have the ability to continue driving for Lyft however he still got a court case coming up so what are some things that could have happened differently here well number one as everyone knows you don't open you if, if you're in a situation where you see someone not wearing a mask don't unlock the vehicle. I have a vehicle where once I put it in park, it unlocks the doors. You know, you can check in your manual to see if you can disable that. Don't put the vehicle in park so the doors uh, unlock. That's number one. Number two, if a passenger starts complaining, don't get out of the vehicle and argue with them. Stay in the vehicle, drive off, cancel the ride, no mask. That simple. And then number three, make sure you have a dash cam, right? We've heard it over and over again. Make sure you have a dash cam because you're going to need that evidence. That dash cam is what allowed this driver to get back on the road only like about a week later, I think. Anyway, there's a link to the news article about this uh, in the description below. Check it out. If you you are so inclined. I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and of course like this video. I'm John Wilkerson from Ride Upstate. Remember just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.